Yo, it's Joe and hey everybody, how are we doing today? So let me just put it like this. The reason I've been away for a tiny bit is because I wanted to work on my comedy, right? I believe my comedy is okay, but I feel like I could do better. I'm always looking to do better. I'm still moving my way into it. So what did Joel do? Well, he went and sought out how to get better. I went over to a yogi in a monastery and we were, you know, swapping notes and I was like, yo, yo, my man, check out my rhymes. Well, you can do it. Yo, squad, that, that ain't how to roll, man. Yo, serious. This is a real bad thing, though, eh? Yo, dog, don't don't be like that, eh? Don't be up in arms. Just just tell me what I gotta do, all right? All right, all right, I hear you. How about how about how about before I help you, you check out my SoundCloud, all right? The yogi might have not exactly helped entirely. Now, with that being said, today is Mother's Day, and hopefully, if everything goes well, this video will come out on time. If not, well, it was Mother's Day. Uh, so Mother's Day is around, or it was around at least. And for my mom, she hates to spend money to show affection. She's the type of person that will like you to spend the time to make something or create something. Spending that time and effort to do something, opposed to you just throwing 20 bucks and calling it a day. It would actually take time, energy, and commitment to do and create something from scratch to finish, which is what my mom likes, right? So again, so my mom is the kind of person that would appreciate you you putting the little time and effort to make something. Hey mom, uh, happy Mother's Day. Joel, did you go out and did you buy that flower? Uh, yeah ma, uh, I spent like 10 bucks on it. it. You know, I thought it was nice and I, th I thought you'd like it, so you know. Joel, this tradition will lead you penniless and broke. Why didn't you just make something for me? Is it also tradition to be penniless too? Uh, no mom, <laughs> no, <laughs> I just thought it'd be nice, you know, to get it for you. What about all our finances? Uh. You know what I like about Mother's Day? is that we take the time to appreciate, you know, the patience and the attention it takes to raising somebody. But then there's, again, but then, but then again, here's my mom. Now, when you look at my case, there is no patience. <laughs> my mom had zero to none patience with me. So all I got growing up was a lot of attention with no patience. Joel, you know that one job I told you to do, I could have had it done in three seconds. Mom, I understand. It's just, uh, it's taking me a while. Exactly, that is why I said I could do it in three seconds. You see, you're not hearing me either. I guess that's the standard you expect from your parents, right? They always want you to do the best with the least amount of time given to you sometimes. I don't know if it's relatable because with my mom, the best analogy is that to get pure steel or something like that you always gotta boil it at really high temperatures to get all the impurities out and stuff like that that's kind of like how my mom is you know you think you're good oh no she'll put you right back in <laughs> to make sure that you even end up better than you think you are I guess that's a standard that they like to set so that's one thing I like and we all know how busy moms can be you know in between how busy it is between work chores and everything else <laughs> when it comes to actual fooling around and any type of foolishness uh yeah not likely just to wrap this up I'm gonna end it off with a little story okay this this may or may not have been true y you kind of figure it out for yourself when when we were kids right I I, I didn't exactly listen surprise surprise there was this one time when I was a really tiny kid I went to the store with my mom and we were just about to cash out we got our stuff and we we're at the counter and we we're cashing out right now my mom's up here and she's dealing with the cash she's uh, paying the lady at the cash register and I'm down there right all the way down I could barely even see on top of the counter right all I see is my mom and she's paying off the lady so I'm down here and at my eye level I see all these assortments of chocolate and uh, I they're all bright and they're colorful and everything and I look to my mom mom can I have one no Joel no okay fine whatever whatever no it didn't want it anyway my hand might have actually went on its own and taken one and put it in my pocket and just kind of watched and nothing happened so I may have I, I'm not saying this happened I may have gotten another one and stuck it in my pocket. And by the time I left the store, I must have looked like Santa's little goodie bag because I was stuffed with chocolate from my pockets, my sleeve, my coat, everything was covered in chocolate crammed to the brim with chocolate and no one said anything and i left the store with the most happiest grin on my face and my mom had no idea why i'm up to the brim with chocolate and i am ecstatic i am so happy right now yeah i'm looking at my mom i'm feeling all the chocolate that's inside me and i'm just happy i am so happy in fact i look over to my mom and i say you want one i quickly learned that was not the thing that you were supposed to do and I, I remembered that for a good, good, good while. So, um, 
Now, I, I don't tell my mom. So that, that story may or may not have happened. Leave it at your discretion. I'm gonna leave it like that. You know, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Just to end this off, I'd just like to say a very happy Mother's Day to my mom. She's a great one. She's a one of a kind. She always helps me out. And she knows exactly what to say. Because, uh, you know, that's how moms are. So, again, a great big thank you, mom, so much. I love you. And I will see you next time. Catch your boy on Instagram and Facebook. You gotta check me out on the medias. Please do stick around. Please like, share, subscribe. We got a lot more videos coming up. You guys are always great. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.